ओके क्लास टेन स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल लर्न अबाउट केमिकल रिएक्शंस एंड स्पेशली यू नो दैट इन क्लास टेन द केमिकल रिएक्शन फर्स्ट चैप्टर वी हैव स्टार्टेड एंड दिस चैप्टर गिव्स डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ रिएक्शंस आइडिया लाइक कॉम्बिनेशन रिएक्शन डिकम्पोजिशन रिएक्शन डिस्प्लेसमेंट रिएक्शन डबल डिस्प्लेसमेंट रिएक्शन एंड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी ऑक्सीडेशन एंड रिडक्शन रिएक्शन दैट मीन्स रिडॉक्स रिएक्शन एक्चुअली इन एनी केमिकल रिएक्शन इफ वी आर टॉकिंग दैट ऑक्सीडेशन अकर्स एंड रिडक्शन ऑल्सो अकर्स सो दिस बोट कंबाइंड इन वन रिएक्शन is called redox reaction actually all the reactions are redox reactions because you know when we are talking about any reaction then either there is oxidation or reduction but in one reaction both reaction occurs so one by one we will study here in detail many of terms that is involved here to understand this chapter and this reaction redox reacts what are those terms today we are going to understand the term oxidation what is the meaning oxidation then we will understand the term reduction as you see ala the meaning oxidation okay the meaning reduction and then this reaction where we will understand what is happening which reaction is oxidation which reaction is reduction and then oxidizing agent and reducing agent on different types of reactions also the same thing so that we are going to complete this chapter also at the end of some questions i will provide and we will solve and see the exercise also okay let us start understanding oxidation what is the meaning oxidation you see here oxidation the meaning oxidation means addition of oxygen okay when we call it ऑक्सीडेशन सबसे पहले इस बात को समझना होगा कि ऑक्सीडेशन में ऑक्सीजन का एड होता है एडिशन होता है तो इसका ठीक उल्टा रिमूवल ऑफ ऑक्सीजन दैट इज लॉस ऑफ ऑक्सीजन विल बी रिडक्शन gain of oxygen addition of oxygen will be oxidation the loss of oxygen will be reduction okay take one example here by taking example of chemical reaction we can understand this you see here here what we see copper oxide is reacting with hydrogen gas that means hydrogen gas is allowed to pass over heated black color of copper oxide and what we obtain reddish brown copper and also water so when we are talking about reaction then copper oxide is actually reduced to copper here loss of oxygen is there you see here it is oxygen here no oxygen so loss of oxygen so we know that loss of oxygen is reduction so copper oxide is being reduced to copper 
So this is the first point. This reaction takes. The second point, what we understand is the hydrogen gas is being converted into water. Now see, H2 gas, hydrogen gas is oxidized to water. So there is clear cut oxygen addition and this addition of oxygen is known as oxidation reaction. So here oxidation also occurs, reduction also occurs. So this is said to be redox reaction. Okay, this is said to be redox reaction. So in redox reaction, both oxidation and reduction of both oxidation and reduction occurs. So that is the main point we understand here, the first point. The second point to understand is that loss of hydrogen is also oxidation. Loss of hydrogen is also oxidation. Then, then gain of hydrogen will be reduction. Okay. So here you can see how there is loss of hydrogen in this reaction. Hydrogen sulfide is reacting with chlorine gas. We are getting sulfur and hydrogen chloride acid. So hydrochloric acid we are getting. H2S hydrogen is emitted. Loss. So loss of hydrogen is oxidation. So H2S is oxidized to sulfur. Okay. So in the second reaction, we see what happens. So in this re second reaction, we see what happens. Hydrogen sulfide is oxidized to sulfur. H2S is oxidized to sulfur. Loss of hydrogen. Okay. Now, gain of hydrogen. Is there any gain? Yes. This hydrogen is gained by chlorine. So, gain of hydrogen is also called reduction. So, chlorine is reduced to HCl. So, oxidation reduction again occurs. Here, we are introducing two more terms. What are those two terms? Two terms. You can see on the board, first term oxidizing agent. Okay. And second is reducing agent. Okay. So two terms I am going to explain here. First is oxidizing agent. Oxidizing agent. So uh, what is oxidizing agent? So when we are talking about oxidizing agent, then here chlorine Cl2 is oxidizing agent. Cl2 gas. Chlorine gas is oxidizing agent. Okay. Why? Because chlorine pushes the H2S for oxidation process. So the agent, the compound, 
which supports which motivates for oxidation is called oxidizing so definition of oxidizing is it okay the reagent or chemical compound which pushes the oxidation process is called oxidizing Oxidizing agent. Okay, so chlorine gas is here. Oxidizing agent. Now, second point: What is reducing agent? Reducing agent is that chemical compound. Here you can see the reduction of chlorine occurs, but due to what? Due to H two S. So H two S. Which supports reduction of chlorine will be reducing agent. Hydrogen sulfide as to as is reducing agent here. That is very very important to understand. So four terms, Allah, four terms. We are understanding four terms. First, oxidation. What is oxidation? Addition of oxygen or removal of hydrogen second reduction what is reduction loss of oxygen or addition of hydrogen third third is our oxidizing agent point term and fourth is reducing agent so all these things are very important terms in this oxidation and reduction reaction so we are going through actually four terms we should understand only four terms to understand this topic redox reaction it is called redox redox meaning oxidation plus reduction both oxidation also occurs and reduction also occurs okay let us understand again the terms what oxidation give more idea it is not only addition of oxygen or loss of hydrogen but it could be addition of non metals addition of non metals here yeah, again take the example <sighs> in hydrogen gas oxygen is added what is oxygen oxygen is a non metal okay oxygen is a non metal So non-metal is added, so this is oxidation. So third point in oxidation, addition of non-metals. Okay, addition of non-metals. Now fourth point, it could be removal of electro-positive elements. So metals removal is also actually oxidation. Okay. metals removal is also oxidation now here you can see loss of electronegative element okay addition of electro negative element that is oxidation but loss of electronegative element that is reduction so here you can see the black color of copper oxide converted to copper metal reddish brown copper copper color color is red brown reddish brown so here we are understanding color change also so you know sometimes you know in the first chapter hum log ko kuch compound ke color yaad rakhna hai color change ho kar ke kya hota hai ye bhi yaad rakhna hai kaise hota hai kaun se process hote hain ye bhi yaad rakhna hai theek hai तो धीरे धीरे सब हो जाएगा लेकिन याद रखने की प्रवृत्ति रखनी चाहिए कोशिश करनी चाहिए ओके सो दैट वी कैन अंडरस्टैंड ऑल दिस सो वी सी द कॉपर ऑक्साइड ब्लैक कलर एक्चुअली रिड्यूस टू कॉपर सो यर ऑक्सीजन इलेक्ट्रोनेगेटिव एलिमेंट 
loss of electronegative element occurs. So this is reduction. Okay. So in oxidation process we are getting four difference and five different fifth fifth to one very interesting one fifth to one loss of electron. Okay, what is the meaning loss of electron? What is the meaning loss of electron? How we can understand this? Loss of electrons. Then opposite is gain of electrons. Okay, loss of electrons is oxidation. Gain of electrons is reduction. Okay, loss of electrons is oxidation and gain of electrons is reduction. So for that matter, we should take one example. You might have got the idea of electrolysis. You see here, in electrolysis of copper oxide, you think that copper oxide electrolysis or sodium chloride electrolysis. Namak lelo, pani me gold. Sodium chloride or bisli use pass karwa electricity. To kya hoga? Sodium plus iron cathode pa jama hoga. A chlorine minus iron, jo chlorine gas ban jayega, anode pa ho jayega. Aisa kyo? Aisa isli ye cathode, jo negative electrode hai, wo attack karega positive ions ko. Lekin isko dusre tarikhe sa sosthe. Kya ho ra hai cathode pa? Okay, let's see. Sodium chloride may sodium plus iron may or chlorine negative iron. Chlorine per negative charge or sodium per positive charge. Why? Because one electron sodium has given to chlorine. So that electrovalent bond sodium chloride between sodium and chlorine has been formed. So this compound sodium chloride compound is an ionic compound but here we want to study the oxidation and reduction on the basis of gain of electrons and loss of electrons. So at cathode what happens at cathode sodium plus iron hello, gains the electron to become sodium atom. Okay. Similarly, when copper oxide okay, is converted to copper, there is also gain of two electrons to become copper. So both process is reduction process. And at cathode, so cathode we can define a that, that electrode where gain of electrons takes place. That means a reduction takes place. Gain of electron is known as reduction. So the general definition of cathode is that electrode out of which gain of electron takes place. Reduction takes place. Reduction reaction takes place. Okay. So this way we are defining cathode also. You know, this happens to be in electrochemistry that you will study in higher classes. Electrochemistry on the basis of electrons. On the basis of loss of electron, gain of electron. So gain of electron occurs on cathode. Okay. Now opposite happens at anode. At anode, the chlorine ion, negative ion, loses electron to become chlorine atom. Okay. So there is loss of electron by chlorine and gain of electron by sodium ion. So, <coughs> chlorine that is negative chlorine ion, Cl minus, loses electron. So, this oxidation occurs at anode. Okay, oxidation process occurs at anode. Okay, so how we can define anode? We can say that anode. Okay, anode 
is that electrode where there is loss of electrons. That means oxidation occurs. So the electrode where oxidation occurs is anode. Where reduction occurs, that is cathode. That is general definition of cathode and anode. Okay, I will give you more reactions in future video uh, to go through redox reaction in detail. This is quite interesting topic. All of you must understand this chemical reactions last topic. Then we will move to our next chapter acid base and salt. Okay, so more reaction we will study in next video. Okay, students, thank you.